course. What does it mean to you to finally get to the NCAA tournament? Um, it means a lot. Honestly, it's like a dream come true because every kid wanted to go to the NCAA tournament that played basketball growing up. What's going to be the big thing for you guys to have success in San Diego? Honestly, stick to the script. Just you no know, defense, rebound, play as a team, and just play together. And, you know, stay focused and try to have fun on the court. What do you know about their front court right now? Shoot, uh, they do a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball so far that I know, and um, one of the players can make plays on the ball, and that's so far that I know right now that I can remember on top of my head. So they don't do a lot of ball screen stuff, a lot of bringing you away from the basket. I don't, I don't think so, no. What have you seen from Brantley in particular, one of their bigs, the foreman? Uh, he can attack the basket really aggressively, and I'm gonna be able to take charges on him because he just drives with his head down, and I'm, I'm gonna be able to. Uh, Try to get him a foul trouble early. He's probably some charges on him. It's not too often to see a mid-major with a 6'10 guy who's 260. Just what do you think that physical matchup's going to be with their big? I mean, I've been banging all year with people bigger than me, Texas A&M specifically. Um, I can outrun him on the floor. So, I mean, he's not going to be nothing different in, con in conference, out, out of conference. We just talked about it in St. Louis, but it seemed like that first half against Alabama, you, know, you picked up two fouls, but then got a lot of confidence by how BP put you back in the game. You were able to make some defensive stops. You were able to do some things. Can you draw from that? Yeah, I can just go back, look at that game, see what I did was play smart and try not to block every shot, try not to go for the ball, play wide out of control, just you know, sit back in an analyze situation and pick and choose my battles. Of course, did you all uh, pimp on practice any yesterday? Was it a little bit more physical than the past? Uh, we, probably, we didn't go like really live yesterday. We went over our uh, offensive offensive plays against, against the scout team. Just try to get our bearings again with the offense. We'll probably go a little bit live today against the defense. What's the mood among you and your teammates? Just uh, the level of excitement you have about getting to, getting to do this? We just ready to go to Cali and go play some basketball. We just decided to go. Bruce and a couple of players have talked about how that Italy trip you guys went on kind of laid the foundation for what this season was. Now that you guys are in the tournament, how, how much can you look back and say when what you guys did over there kind of got you ready for making this run? Italy made the culture for us, to, for, for the teammate to be more of a family. So we wanted Italy just a team. And all we did was spend time with each other. We didn't do anything else, really. We walked around. But at the end of the day, we didn't know anybody out there in Italy. We just took together, stayed together. And we, it built the foundation to be a family, you know? Who's the best shooter on the team? Our team? Bryce Brown. Uh, it's like, it's probably two or three of them. Bryce Brown, Stoff, and Jerry. You can pick out of those three. I don't got a problem with that. You, uh... Well, what are practices like three point shooting with those guys? Like yeah, yesterday we was hitting all cylinders. Like we was not missing. Run with run with big as the ocean. You know what I'm saying? It looks good when they hitting and I hope they hit during the game. So at the beginning of the season when you guys had to remake your offense a little bit, you know, what were practices like? How did you guys establish you know, the pecking order with the three pointers and what, you know? See how we do everything. The coaches the coach said we, we declare our own roles and then and you're, you're a scorer, you're going to score in practice, you're going to score in the game. You're a defensive player, you're going to play defensive play on defense in the game. So how you practice is how you play. And where, you, how many three-pointers are you trying to get up in practice? I don't, I don't get on those three-pointers in practice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. But I'm working on my shot I, I, um, outside, outside of practice and um, at night by myself. So I'm trying to work on my game more. I assume you got to pull up, be able to hit it in practice before you. Yeah, I got to work on Do it in practice, do it in the game. How do you guys, um, I guess, control that as a team? I mean, I think Coach did a good job controlling that with mainly play calls. So he, he understands sometimes you get a play call, it's not really for the person that has the ball, it's somebody off the ball, you know. And just, just that he, he, he understands everybody's strengths and weaknesses, and we go to that and we don't try to uh, the deter from our strengths. Or is there that Ch Chile has an unbelievable knack to get to the line? Their guard gets a shot 16 to 16 in their mm -hmm. conference tournament final. Just what have you seen from him? I don't know if you've seen any player, even in the SEC, who can get to the line seemingly with the at, at will like he can. I feel like uh, Chris Silva got the line pretty much it could being a big, but as a guard, Honestly, I don't think we're going to foul him that much. I'm not really worried about fouling him that much because our guards can lock up when I know they really need to. I know Bryce really can play great defense, so I'm saying he, I really don't like, do anything for us. Are we good?